to another video i hope you're all doing okay and had a lovely sunday i am really excited about today's video because basically since i've started my channel which was on i think the 4th of january we were in lockdown and we only came out of lockdown on the 12th of april which was like two three weeks ago so basically today's upload is me basically my first video doing nails on a client so as you can probably tell by the title i'm going to be doing a gel soak off and a build a gel application so a build a gel application was definitely on my list of a video that i wanted to do because it's only recently that i've started offering build a gel um, I just sort of stuck with gel and acrylics to start off with and then builder gel I sort of like wanted to try out and then recently started doing them and offering services with them so um, yeah I definitely wanted to do a video on the builder gel application just because it is a little bit different um, to applying gel so today was my basically my opportunity to do that so i hope you enjoy the video and find it helpful but as always if there is anything that i missed or if you have any questions just drop them in the comments below and i will come back to you but yeah so let's get into it so i've obviously sped this video up just so you're not sat here watching it in real time because you'll be here all day. Um, but basically, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my 180 file and file off the top coat of the gel that's already on there and just make sure all of the surface shine is off it. Then once that's all done, I'm gonna grab my soak off kit. So this soak off kit I actually got from Amazon. It was actually in one of my Amazon hauls. Um, if you haven't already seen that, I'll link it in the corner for you to go and check it out. Um, it basically just comes with these clips that I find a lot easier to soak off just gel with. Um, I probably wouldn't do acrylics with these. I would use my soak off pots for acrylic but these um, nail clips are perfect for soaking off gel. So basically you just obviously submerge the um, soak off pads in acetone and then pop the clips on to each nail, soak them off for, a, keep them soaked for around about 20 minutes or so. And then you can take them off and it actually saves a lot more product as well. You don't need as much acetone, especially just because it's gel. It's not obviously not a um, as much of a thicker product. So yeah, I just pop all of those on and soak them for around about 20 minutes. So after around 20 minutes, I just take them off one by one and go over again with my green file from NSI, which is the 180 grit, it's the lightest one. And obviously because you're working on natural nails, you don't want a harsh grit file. Just keep it, um, 180 is absolutely fine to be working with. You can file off the excess gel that's on there.
So this is what the natural nails will look like once all of the gel is off and I'm just going to go in with my dusting brush just to get rid of any dust and then I'm going to go over with my file again and I'm also going to use the same file so the same grit the 180 file just to shape the nails again and make sure they're all tidy and in place and shaped basically how the client wants.
Then I'm gonna go in with my cuticle tool from Navy and this is really, really helpful to get rid of any skin around the cuticle areas. Now this client in particular had really, really good cuticles. There was no real, no growth there really. So I just needed to tidy them up and make sure there was no sort of skin on the nail bed that was gonna cause any lifting or anything like that. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the last part of my prep, which is to dehydrate. I'm using the NSI dehydrator and I'm just gonna apply a layer of that on every nail. The builder gel that I'm gonna be using on this set is the Teddy Biab by the gel bottle. So if any of you don't know what Biab is, it's builder in a bottle and it's basically a stronger gel that gives a lot more strength to the nail than just normal gel does. And this particular builder gel that I'm using does actually have a base coat built in. If you're using a clear builder, it will need a base coat. But like I say, the pink ones and the nude ones from the gel bottle do tend to have um, built-in primer, base coat, so you don't need that in this particular case. So I basically just, like I say, go in with the first layer. So it is applied a little bit differently. It's a lot thicker to work with. So the first thing I do is I just basically give it a small amount on the first layer. So just a thin layer to start off with. You will need a low power mode lamp. So I have the gel bottle lamp that has a low heat mode on it. I know some other lamps do have that option and it's a 99 second set. So when it goes under the lamp, it should be under there for 99 seconds, just because it's on a lower heat mode to avoid any heat spikes or anything. So the first layer, as I say, is just a nice thin layer just to start it off. I set that under the lamp for 99 seconds. And then the second layer that you go in with should be a little bit thicker. And obviously if there is any length to the nails, you can build an apex with the builder as well. Um, it is self leveling. So if you tip the hand upside down, if they, are, if they have got a little bit of length on them, if you tip the hand upside down before putting it in the lamp, it will self level itself. I do have a little nail art brush that I use to basically get in quite close to the cuticle because obviously the brush can um, is obviously quite big so I just grab a smaller brush to 
push the product into the cuticle as close as I can. So this particular client wanted French, so I'm, so I'm just going to go in with my nail art brush now and paint on the French that she wanted.
Now I'm just going to top coat with the Extreme Shine Top Coat by the Gel Bottle. Then I'm going to be going in with my cuticle pen to finish off.
and this is what the set looks like when it's all done. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. As always, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. I'm so happy with how this set turned out. I'm actually obsessed with them. I um I'm I don't get me wrong, I love crazy designs on nails, but I'm also like in love with short, simple designs like French. And the Builder Gel literally gives the best sort of um, base for a French it's so so nice so yeah I was really happy with it but um please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok it's at the nail room by G and I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>